For the fifth straight year, it was one and done at the Big Sky Tournament for the Montana Lady Grizz. And now, they head into the offseason looking to build on their youth to get back to their winning ways. It was up and down in Brian Holsinger's second year as head coach, and his disappointment was evident after the Lady Grizz lost in the quarterfinal round of the tournament. I hope it hurts. To be honest, I hope it hurts. It has to hurt enough to make changes, right? I'll accept responsibility more than anybody. I have wonderful kids to coach. For whatever reason, I couldn't quite get them over the edge in a lot of games this year. Uh, there's a lot of different factors. We have to get better in some areas in order to not to win these games versus what the outcome was today. And we just weren't quite there most of the season. The Lady Grizz went 4-8 and eight in a rugged non-conference schedule and started out Big Sky play hit or miss early on before a lineup change gave them some life as they ended conference play 10-8. and eight. We haven't won enough, in my opinion, in the second year. The program is not where it should be, in my opinion, yet. Uh, the third year will be a big telltale. We'll be super young again, but lots of talent coming in. So I'm excited about the future, disappointed in the results. I'm a defensive guy. We did not play defense like we should have all year. we got to improve in that area, and we will. UM was a mix of vets and younger players this year, with freshman Matt Koenig and Libby Stump showing they were ready for college out of the gates. As the program moves forward, their development will be paramount this offseason. A lot of growth this year. I'm super excited to see just how our young players continue to develop. They got a lot of experience under their belt this year. I think we have some really great incoming freshmen that are just gonna continue to build this program up. And so being a part of it is super special and I'm feeling positive about our future with the Lady Grizz. The Lady Grizz will lose a prolific scorer in Sammy Fatkin, whose roller coaster college journey came to a close in Boise, but it's one she's grateful for. Yeah, I think proud is like the perfect word. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, me and Carm, at our time here, but all I can say is that the program's moving in the right direction. I'm really proud of where it's going. There's nothing but positivity happening here. We're proud of our young kids. I think we faced a lot. We were right there in a lot of games this year, like right there. And so I think uh, this team can only grow from that. I'm really excited for their future. I think nothing but good things are coming. While Fakin is gone, Carmen G. Feller already announced she'll be back for one more year. Danny Barch emerged as a starter this year, while Gina Markson also played a big role for Montana after returning to basketball. So the Lady Grizz returned plenty of familiar faces for next year. Montana was a preseason number two pick this year, and after falling short of expectations, there's no time to waste heading into next season. You saw flashes of it. We weren't consistent, but I couldn't be proud of these guys. We are building something special, and it takes time. Everybody wants it to go faster. I want it to go faster. I hate losing. We, these guys hate losing. But sometimes you have to go through these things that hurt in order to, to get to where you want to go. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.